What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamistang and today we'll be doing a speed ramp temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test over here between two very different phones here in 2021. In the first corner over here, we have the Galaxy S21 Ultra, arguably one of the best flagship phones here in 2021. And inside here, you do have the Exynos 2100, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And in the other corner over here, we have one of the OGs when it comes to the flagship killer. And over here, we do have the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 and also you do have 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage inside this Nord 2 over here. So the first thing that we are going to do is of course to check out the temperatures and inside the room we're in, it's about 27.8 in terms of the phones, 35.8, 36 degrees so very very similar indeed and of course in the first thing that we are going to do over here is to boot up these two phones. All right so normally, I think both of these two phones, they do not have a very outstanding time when it comes to booting up. But let's see over here up against each other, who would win in this first battle. Both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% to make this a fair comparison. Okay, so the S21 Ultra is right into it over here, while the, on the Nord 2, it is taking a little bit of time over here. Okay, it's finally set up. Let's check out the calendar if it's done over here. Still not yet set up. Well, on the Nord 2. All right, so in terms of just setting up the apps, both of them are taking about the same time. And as I mentioned, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100%. So one thing to note is that on the screen side of things, both of them have been maxed out in terms of the brightness and also both of them are running in at 120 hertz. Both of them are also connected to the same Wi-Fi network and also location is on. Every other form of connection is disabled on both of these two phones. Also, one more thing to note is that on both of these two phones, all apps have been closed to make this a fair comparison. So let's check out the apps that we are going to test out over here. And before we do that again, let's check out the temperatures. 36.3, 36.2, so very, very similar indeed. So one, two, three, let's go. Do note that both of them do have their own gaming modes running on the back. And let's see if it does help in this kind of test. Okay, S21, oh no, no, the Nord 2 actually kind of just pulls ahead of the S21 Ultra. Very small difference. Next up here, Pokemon Go. Okay, let's see which one would start up here faster. Okay, looks like the S21 Ultra. Yes, it's done over here, while on the Nord 2, it does take some time. Okay, let's go to the next one here, YouTube. Okay, about the same. Let's go on to Instagram. About the same, I would say. Okay, let's go to PUBG Mobile, a huge app over here. Okay, pretty neck and neck on both phones. All right, so the Nord 2 does take this one over here while the S1 Ultra is just slightly behind it over here. Let's go on to our next few apps. But before we do that again, let's check out the temperatures. 37 degrees, 36.4. So let's go on to Chrome. Okay, does take some time over here. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, this one over here, as you notice, is just slightly slowing down. Let's go to Shopee. Okay, just as I mentioned that, it catches up. Let's go to the next one here, YouTube Music. Okay, about the same. And then let's go to the settings. All right, so there is a little bit of stutter over here. Okay, go on to the next one here, Manchester United. Okay, about the same, I would say. Let's go to the Premier League. Okay, about the same as well. Let's go on to Netflix. Okay, faster on the S21. Let's go to camera app. Okay, let's switch it up. Okay. 
Okay, so seems like the Nord 2 does have a faster camera app over here. Go to TikTok. Okay, skip this. I think it was about the same to be honest if it wasn't for this ad to appear. Go on to Twitter. Okay, about the same I would say. And then let's go on to the Play Store. Okay, about the same, maybe the S21. Alright, so let's check out the temperatures over here. 37 degrees, getting pretty hot over here. And then the one plus not two, 36.4, still at 36.4, which is still pretty impressive. Now let's do a RAM test over here. Let's check out Genshin Impact. Holds up very well here on the S21 Ultra. Okay, let's go to the Pokemon Go. Also held up very well over here. And I know some of you may be complaining that the RAM here is 12 compared to eight. But I do know that Samsung has a very good RAM management on their phones in general. And also this is basically the flagship versus the flagship killer. And okay, this one is all pretty much equal. Let's go Premier League. Pretty much same Twitter. Alright, so pretty much the same on both phones. Let's check out the phone's temperatures over here. 36.5 and then go on to the S20 Ultra. 38 degrees so things are getting pretty hot over here all right so i'm gonna cool down these two phones as we're gonna start the next test over here with the gpu test all right so now we're gonna do a gpu test over here with inshot and of course both of these two phones are going to export the same thing over here at 4k at 30 fps and let's see which one will come out on top all right pretty close better i would say but it looks like the Nord 2 is having a slight lead over here yes it is pulling ahead And it's almost done here. Yes, it's already done here on the Nord 2 while on the S21 Ultra, as you can see there, it is fairly behind compared to the Nord 2. All right, so now we're gonna to progress to our Geekbench test and the 3D Mark. So let's check out the temperatures over here first. 36.2, 36 degrees. All right, so we're gonna run this test over here and let's see what other results that we are going to get. So as we can see here, we have the Exynos 2100 up against the MediaTek Dimensity 1200. So one, two, three, let's go. And also do note that the battery has gone down to 96% over here, whereas on the Nord 2 is at 98% over here, 5000 mAh battery up against 4500. So I'll see you guys at the end where we do get the results. Okay, so we are done here with the S21 Ultra and a single core score not too bad and not too good either. 696, multi core score 3251. Just check out the temperatures over here 37.4, and let's just give it some time over here on the Nord 2 to finish up. And before we do that, let's check out the history of the scores we got. So the highest that we got is about 850. And as you can see here, the Nord 2 does have a better score over here. Temperature-wise, it is pretty similar. Multi-core score of 2005. So it's pretty interesting over here as we look at the results. And as you can see here, it does go consistently between 800 and a multi-core score about 2004, 2005. While over here, the multi-core score is actually better, but the single-core score is actually worse compared to the Nord 2 over here. So, all right, so now let's run another test over here, which is the 3D Mark test. This one is quite demanding, I would say. All right. Okay, and then let's run this test. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so we are done here with the S21 Ultra 5001 compared to the 4001 on the Nord 2. Very, very impressive score over here. Temperature wise, let's check out the back over here. 37.3, but as you can see there, the front is at 38 degrees. Front over here, 37.6. On the back, 36.6. So better temperature management compared to the S21 Ultra over here. And let's run the stress test on both of these two phones. Sorry, the slingshot test. Let me get this right. All right, so one, two, three, let's go. Okay. 
Okay, so we are done here with the S21 Ultra. Seems to perform faster and better over here, but it does feel very, very hot. 40 degrees on the S21 Ultra. Front temperature is not doing so well either. Over here on the Nord 2, 41.1 as well on the back. 39.6 so very very similar in terms of the temperatures over here but as we can see from the score the s1 ultra definitely does outperform the nord 2 over here so yes if you guys did find this video helpful and also did enjoy this do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and also here on youtube at dr hammerstein so that is it this is dr hammerstein stay safe take care and wash those hands